When using the Divi theme and creating big menus, we often get this issue where if we zoom in a little too far, we get this overlapping problem with the navigation. I'm gonna show you how you can fix that. The way you wanna, what you wanna actually do is, for one, you can just sort of come out and you can actually just, if you can right click on the logo and hit inspect, bring this toolbox over here. And if you just hover, you'll notice, if I hover over the code here, you'll notice uh, where the logo is. It says how big the actual logo is. So 261 by 49.55 pixels. So the first thing you can do, there's two ways of doing this particular fix, and I'll give you a few other options in a minute. You can actually just create the image, download it, resize it in say Photoshop or some other program and make it 261 pixels wide. The other way you can do it, so it has to be whatever width you have it here, not just that width I told you. So again, if I hit inspect and hover, whatever that width is, the first number, make your image that width so it doesn't actually get any bigger than that. The other one is if I go into my theme customizer, scroll down to additional CSS, I can give it some code. I'll go hash logo, curly bracket, max dash width 260 px semicolon. So what that does is I find that same number I said before from inspect and I pop a max width under the logo here of 260 and that caps how wide the logo can go. And the reason I use max width instead of just width is we still want the logo to be able to shrink if we need it to on a phone. Now I hit publish. So now when I zoom in, it doesn't overlap. It still goes on two lines, which may not be what you want, but we don't get that overlapping problem because it's actually trying to fill the space that shows up next to that. Now, unless this has also popped down down here, I honestly, I would just tend to turn that off. Uh, that's just an issue I haven't been able to sort out myself yet. But there's more than one option. We don't have to do just that. One thing you can also do is just simply you can create this in the theme builder uh, as well which is uh, i think i've got another video on that which i'll link to below and you can if you build it in there it'll actually help eliminate that problem as well the other thing you can do is simply make the logo smaller make your text smaller so if i go back into the theme customizer go to header and navigation primary header i can just make the logo height smaller, make the menu a bit smaller if I want to do that. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. And this text is pretty big. I can make the text smaller. And that's another way to sort of help prevent that overlap. It's not going to be perfect, um, but that is one option you can do. I'm going to publish that and let's take a look. Zoom in. And if I zoom in any further before it breaks to tablet, there you go, that actually kind of worked. But the issue is there's just too many items in here next to the logo. That is one of the issues with a navigation. You don't want too many items anyway. So what you can also do is consider moving this menu up here or items from this menu up here or adding in more drop downs. So the way we do that, we go into menus here or if you're in the dashboard, we go to appearance in menus and I've got my menu here you can see I've got some drop downs already but what I can do is simply under about us I can move our terms and as long as it's sitting indented it will actually become a drop down and maybe with shop contact and events I can move some of these things in I can move the portfolio in I can create some more drop downs save that menu go back out and you can see we've got a shorter menu. So we're less likely to have that issue when I zoom or if I switch, it never actually meets so we don't get that issue. So a shorter navigation is probably the better way to go, but if you absolutely must have every button in there, maybe you're working for a client who wants every item in there, then changing that max width is the way to go. However, there is another option. If I go back out of this mode here, back into my menus, is maybe I simplify this main menu. So I delete some items. So I keep the menu very simple for the main menu. And then I create a new menu. So I go create new menu. And if you have this issue, 
Make recommendations to clients. If you're doing it with clients, tell them that you don't recommend doing that because there's a few issues with it. So try to actually be the professional and make your recommendations. They may or may not take them, but something worth thinking. I create a secondary menu here. Create menu. I give it a name, I should say. I'm just gonna call this top bar. And now I can add in a number of pages. So I go home, cart, check out, contact my account, portfolio, shop. I just add a bunch of pages in there. Save that menu. And now I go back out and we've got this menu up here. Now you will get this issue as well if that's too big. Once again, make that text a bit smaller. So go to your theme customizer, header and navigation, secondary menu, and just make that text a bit smaller. Or you can make it full width, publish. And now you can see we don't have this issue as much. And if I switch to the responsive view, it might overlap at the top. It doesn't in this version, but you can see here, because we don't have the logo here, there's less for it to contend with. We less we get that issue a lot less. So that's a few different options to deal with that issue. I hope that has helped you with whatever issues you're having. Now, if you want to see more about DB, I do have a playlist I'll pop into the description below. I've got a ton of DB tutorials and videos. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video and have a great day.